here we have uh, the the adjacency matrix A for um, the complete bipartite graph with bipartite sets B and C. And to make this adjacency matrix uh, specific, uh, to, uh, to give a specific labeling, the way to give a specific labeling is to define what the bipartite sets B and C are. All right, so we have two bipartite sets, uh, B and C. So let's see, um, B is V1, V2, V3. And that's B. And C is V4, V5, V6, V7, V8. And V4, V5, V6, V7, V8. So the, the idea here is that if I was to change, if I was to s s call, let's just say for instance, I made this into V7 and V7 into V1, then the adjacency matrix would be different, right? And so because I'm being specific on what the bipartite sets are, you know this is, you know this is the first one because it's, the cardinality of it is there. You know this is the second one because the cardinality is there. K, cardinality B, cardinality of C. Um, so this is K. There's three things there, five things there. This is K, uh, three, five. Because I'm specific about what these are, um, that, tell, that says exactly what the adjacency matrix has to look like. And therefore, again, I will get exactly there will be exactly one answer for this box and for this box. And then this is gradable. All right, so what does the graph look like? Remember, um, let's start with, I guess, blue. So remember this is connected to each of those like that. like that. So A57. So A57, right, that's going to be a 1 if there is a, if there's an edge between vertex 5 and vertex 7. But these guys are in the same vertex set. And the, with the complete bipartite graph, uh, there are no edges between vertices in the same bipartite set, so this is zero. Now A34, you can see there is in fact an edge from V3 to V from V3 to V4. And so that's a one.